Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like, please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support. Uh, I just wanted to make one announcement real quick before we get into this. I'm going to put some dates up here. I will actually be gone for the holidays this year from December 22nd to the 28th. I will not be posting a review for then. So since this will be the last review before the holidays, I just want to wish all you guys who follow me, everybody watching this, have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a good time. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope everything goes well. And with that out the way, let's get into the video here. We have the final pair I'm going to be reviewing from this Fearless pack with the inverted Nike Jordan 1 box. As you can tell, this is probably the most popular pair out of the pack. The Air Jordan 1 Mid SE Fearless GC. White, black, white is the color code. Men's size 12, USD 130 retail. I did pay retail for these. I ended up getting them off Nike, and I'm very grateful to have them. Actually, let me show you guys real quick. I will bring up the card, which has the fear struck out. And on the back, you have the Jordan with the signature. And the quote in here is limits like fears are often just an illusion. This is what we're looking at, if you guys have not guessed yet, but I'm sure many of you have. This is the Jordan 1 Mid Edison Chen Clot. Now, it is called Clot, but Edison Chen was one of the founders of Clot. Clot is a fashion brand that was founded in 2003 by Edison Chen and Kevin Poon, I believe his name is pronounced. And the brand is based off of a West meets East influence or East West or West meets East influence. And in terms of Edison Chen, he is a Canadian born actor, singer, producer, writer, designer. He's got a bunch of titles. He's been around since I think 1999 when he broke into the industry and um, created Clot. I will make sure to leave a link in the description to the website for Clot for the company so you guys can check them out. If you're not familiar with their brand or their clothing or whatever they design, you can check it out. They have a bunch of stuff there. And looking at the shoe here, we have that quote right here. Limits like fears is often just an illusion. MJ signature. This is like a gold leather. And you have fear struck out right there. And coming across the upper here, we will try to get into as much detail as possible with these. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to use this shoe right here. This way, that hang tag isn't in the way for you guys. Okay, so we'll start at the back here. This upper does remove. So you have the Wings logo underneath where it's placed here on the fabric. You have a Nike stitching that fades off as the swoosh starts to expand to the back of the heel. It is cut off by a little heel patch right here, which then continues that stitching on the other side. And if we bring this up close, you can see there's a bunch of different patterns here. I'm not quite sure exactly what all the patterns mean, but I know that Edison Chen was Canadian born, but he's also of Hong Kong descent. So I'm assuming the Chinese graphic here might have something to do with, you know, prosperity, well-being, happiness. I'm not quite sure. I'm just throwing stuff out there. If anybody is, speaks Chinese or is from China or understands the inspiration of the text and the pictures here, please let me know in the comments. I love learning about other cultures and I'd really like to know this. I maybe should have looked it up before the video, but it was really hard to find out You know what I'm researching when I'm not quite sure where to start. So I would have done it, but I'm sorry I don't have all that information for you guys. I always try to get as much as I can. And you have that graphic keeps continuing around. I know I'm doing this a little slow, but I just want to make sure you guys get all of the dim image detail because these are going for kind of an expensive price now, especially in smaller sizes. And if you really want to pull the trigger and really buy these, I want to make sure you have all the details and perspective so you can decide for yourself on camera. There is the lace lock right there. And if we rotate that, there is a couple of symbols. I'm not quite sure what that means once again. The back side of it, it looks like... Um, what would be an old, I guess, uh, Chinese currency? It looks like they would use a Chinese currency coin and like puncture it out, even though it's not that, but it looks like it's kind of trying to resemble that rusted um, copper or bronze, you know, when it turns that green from, the, uh, from water and just aging, you know, humidity, moisture. And you've got the black laces in flat going across. You got the Jordan with the air on the tongue. 
on the insole it is just red with that quote and the fear struck out i've shown that better in some of my other videos if you want to see that better in detail i show the sole better in some of the fearless shoes before this one and plain red jordan one outsole white midsole and overall i think they did a great job with these i think they came out really nice i will make sure to actually bring this back up here and i will leave a photo here of what the sneaker will look like when it's kind of cut away or patched up and what you can do with it i'm obviously not going to do that with these i'm actually holding on to these i'm curious what they're going to do how much they're going to go in price because these right now are going for about 290 300 dollars around that range in a size 12 or 13. if you look at smaller sizes on StockX, which i'll make sure to leave a link down below for these you will see they're going pretty high so maybe you might want to buy at size 12 or 13 right now which i have and hold on to them they might go up it might be a good investment to buy say two pairs now for 600 300 each and then sell them later for 500 each after fees you'll make about 240 profit that's not too bad so you know there's some things like that once again i'm not advising that if you do want to do something like that i would invest doing your research and make sure you're spending the money wisely other than that let me know what you guys think of these have you heard of clot before do you know who edison chen is do you like this shoe do you think they could have done something different that would have been better? I like the way they came out. I think they did a great job. I think this sneaker is going to be one of the classic mids that everybody's going to love. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Love to hear from you guys. Get some conversation going about these or other mids from the Fearless Pack or the Patent Highs, whichever ones you like. And I hope to see you guys around in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day. And once again, have a happy holiday. I'll see you guys later.